I've been having the most vivid dreams lately. Incredibly detailed, in color, some that are so intense they wake me up from a dead sleep. One in particular was about my father. I ran into my father in a public place. It was actually in a fast food restaurant. And there was an exchange between my father and I. This woke me up and I actually stayed awake for over an hour, just laying there, just analyzing the dream, considering what it meant, why I was having it, and things like that. So I finally fell back asleep and I had another very vivid, very interesting dream. And in this dream, I was in a house. And typically, when you have a dream about a house, the house represents self. So if the house is falling down around you, this represents how you feel about what's going on with yourself specifically, what kind of shape the house is in, whether you feel cramped or whether it's very spacious, what's going on inside that house, things like that are all relevant and important within a house dream. So anyway, I was in this house, which was my house, and there was someone in the house with me, a man, and I'm not sure how he was related to me, a service professional or a friend or what, but we walked out the front door onto the porch. I made some comments about what a lovely porch it was, and he said, yes, but I think we should raise it four inches. <laughs> which again, this dream woke me up out of a dead sleep. It was significant, it meant something. Now I have a lot of vivid dreams and I always have. So one of my favorite websites is dreammoods.com. And they basically have a dream dictionary where you can go and look up numbers, colors, symbols, you know, different things that you specifically dream about, whether it's your father or whether it's french fries or whatever it happens to be. And it's actually really interesting. I consider dreams your subconscious working things out in your sleep. And so when I have a vivid dream, particularly one that sticks with me or a recurring dream or one that wakes me up, I really like to know what it means. So a while back, dreammoods.com, which I've used the website for years and loved it, but they came out with a book. And I think it was around 15 bucks, if I'm not mistaken, but I got it straight from their website. It is basically the dream dictionary that's on their website in book format, which I like to keep on my bedside table for easy reference. So we'll take the porch dream for example, and basically a porch represents your social self, your personality, or how you portray yourself to others. And then of course there was the person who suggested that I raise my porch four inches, and I thought it was just fine. But the number four actually has meaning as well. It actually has a lot of different meanings, so you have to really take it, apply it specifically to the dream and to what's going on in your life at the same time. Now I won't get into what the dream meant that I had about my father because that's personal, but it was a disturbing dream. It was very interesting though and very insightful, especially once I dug into the book and kind of got some ideas about what all of the different aspects meant. The fact that we were in a fast food restaurant, for example, the other people that were there, the fact that I was traveling when I ran into him and things like that all have specific meaning to me and they all have specific meaning, period. So that was an interesting dream. But another one I had this past week was that I was in a box. <laughs> I was literally inside a box. And in the dream, I wasn't in the box looking out. I was actually looking at myself in the box. And it was a rather small box, like maybe a good sized printer would come in or something like that. And I was standing and looking at myself inside this box. And I was looking back out at myself from inside the box. There was no space. I fit in it perfectly. And I seemed content and comfortable in the box. I wasn't trying to get out. I wasn't struggling. I wasn't freaking out because I'm claustrophobic, which in real life is what I would be doing. But that was another very vivid, very interesting dream that woke me up in the middle of the night. This has been going on for several nights in a row. And I thought this was just a good opportunity to share one of my favorite websites with you. Again, it's dreammoods.com. And really, the site itself is great. You know, they have the dream dictionary right there. It's free to access. You can pull it up anytime. But I really like having the book. The book is by Michael Vigo, and it's What's in Your Dream, an A to Z dream dictionary. And it really is quite good. In fact, it's helped me on a number of occasions really unravel the true meaning of a dream, which was always really right on with whatever was going on in my life. And it has really everything in it you could possibly dream about. I'll just flip through here and give you some examples. We have jet, jelly bean, jasmine, explosion. It tells you about the meaning of eyes. It tells you about the specific meaning of different colors and different numbers that you see in your dream. So let's say, for example, that you dream that you're sitting at a table and there are three rocks on the table. The number three is significant. And if they're red rocks, the color red is significant. So that stuff matters. We have country club, cow, bottle, boxing gloves, pork, scar, scarecrow, scavenger hunt. I haven't had that dream yet. Skylight, skirts. If you're skipping, if you dream that you're skipping, water skiing, 
strawberries even. So just basically, you know, anything that comes up in your dreams that you think is interesting or odd or maybe significant, especially if you have really vivid dreams or recurring dreams or dreams that wake you up in your sleep. The site is awesome. Again, it's dreammoods.com. I like the book too, but I use both the website and the book. So I'm off to crawl back in my box. <laughs> Kidding. I'm off to take a nap and see what else I can dream about. But what about you? Not everyone remembers their dreams. So do you remember your dreams? And if you do, do you jot them down? Do you look them up? Do you try to interpret their meaning? Or do you just blow them off? I'm curious. 